I'm Lars Mottesson. I love spending time in the woods, hiking, camping. Nature is also a big part of my job. As full trucks environmental director, I work every day hard to find new ways to reduce the environmental impact of our trucks. With so many trucks on the road, they can be seen as a nuisance. But think about the value they give to us, how they bring furniture and food to our stores, and at the same time also taking care of our garbage. Trucks also pollute, and in a sense they're also seen as a symbol of our dependency on fossil fuels. But they are getting better, as we step up our struggle to preserve resources and reducing our impact on the climate. One of the most interesting alternatives to diesel is methane. It's easy to find and it's easy to use. With our solution, it's possible to use the methane with a high fuel efficiency, also for long-haul transports. We are here today at the Volvo Demo Center. This truck is running on 100% hydro-treated vegetable oils, HVO. HVO does the same job as regular diesel. It's easy to use, easy to handle but at the same time, it can deliver a climate reduction by up to 90%. One of the big benefits of HVO is also that it can be distributed in the regular distribution network and is more or less also possible to get at the same cost as regular diesel. Here at the Volvo Engine Laboratory, we are going the extra mile for developing and testing fuels for the future. I believe that one of the interesting fuels for the future is DME, dimethyl ether, which can be produced from biomass. DME in an engine like this emits no soot and particulates, so there's no need for filters. The engine runs much more quiet using DME, and it also reduces CO2 emissions by up to 95%. In the future, we see an opportunity with combining the alternative fuels with electrification. By that, we are going to use the alternative fuels in an even more energy efficient way. The search for cleaner fuels is a journey. And as all journeys, there are many other things going on at the same time. It's important to couple the cleaner fuels with new technologies, which makes both the trucks more efficient, but also our factories more efficient. It's not all about technology. We also need to work smarter together. Companies, authorities, politicians, but also ordinary people. We all depend on transport and we need to work together in order to find solutions. We know what to do. We have the skills, we have the resources and we are on the way to more sustainable transports.